Welcome back. Today we're talking about tagging YouTube videos. Do you want to know how to do it? I actually post hundreds of videos every month on multiple channels and we have a really good keyword research strategy. We get a lot of traffic from search. So I'm going to show you how to properly tag YouTube videos so you can get results. Tagging YouTube videos is something that I know a lot about. We get a lot of search traffic on YouTube across the 10 different channels that I currently manage. Now this specific question comes from my good friend, Jen Vera. She asked, how do you tag YouTube videos? My first response is, well, it's really hard to do after the fact. So if you film a video, you put it on YouTube and then you're thinking, okay, now I wanna add tags to my video so that it will get SEO results. It's so hard to do that, so hard to do that. That's what everyone else tries to do and their videos don't rank and they don't get traffic. Okay, how do you do it then? Well, the secret, and it's not a secret according to my videos because I say this all the time, keyword research before filming. Okay, keyword research before filming. So you're essentially choosing what your keywords are before you film. That way when you film, you talk about those topics, all the keywords that you research. That's included in your video because if, if you create a video about a topic and then you realize, oh, well, this is a tag, this is a tag, this is a tag. You just apply them to your video, but your video is really not about that. It won't rank. And if you put a tag on there that's too competitive, it won't rank. What I teach kind of goes the opposite of what other people teach for search and optimization. I'll explain in two ways and then I'll, we'll dive in and I'll show you on my screen here how to add tags, okay? The first thing that you'll typically learn with search and optimization is to go after phrases with great search volume. But the higher the search volume on a phrase, the more competition there is. So I actually recommend that you go after the really, really niche specific phrases that have low search volume. You want them to have some, like 10 searches a month, 20 searches a month, but you don't want thousands because there's gonna be way too much competition. That's different than what you've been taught before, isn't it? The next thing that you might have heard is the difference between information seeker phrases and buyer phrases or shopper or buyer phrases, right? And you're told go after the buyer phrases because if people are, are searching for that, they're ready to buy. Okay, I agree with that if I have a product that I'm selling and I want that to rank on Google, but we're talking about YouTube here. We're talking about building a following, building an influence, and we actually want to go after the information seeker phrases. So people that are online just searching for information, that is your target audience because you have expertise, you're sharing information, okay? So when you make a real specific video, how to get rid of strep throat without antibiotics, people are, are searching for that. You rank on the first page of YouTube, people find you, they found exactly what they're searching for, they watch the whole video, and YouTube sees that your video performed well, you have good stats, YouTube's gonna recommend it to more people. So the biggest takeaway thus far in this video is you've got to do keyword research before filming, okay? Now let's dive in here and I'll show you how to tag your videos. Okay, I am signed in here to the Creator Studio for Live On Purpose TV. This is one of the channels I produce. This video just went live today. I'm filming this video on February 12th, so that's why I say today is February 12th. It's got 441 views so far. Now if I come in here to go in and edit the video, you will see if I scroll down, there's a section right here that says tags. We did keyword research to find the phrase, how to think before you act. That's the title of our video. And that's our first tag. Um, we also put in a few other tags here. Basically there's five keywords here. Keywords two through five are defaults. We've only got one real keyword that's specific to this video. And personally, I would have added three, four, or five of those to this video. I'm not sure why my team only added one. Why don't we go look at another video? So here's another video that just recently went live. The phrase that we found is how to be a better parent without yelling. And you see, we've got three different keyword phrases that we added in here, how to be a better parent, how to be a better parent without yelling, and how can I become a better parent? So let's go view this video on the public page. Okay, so now we're seeing the video on the YouTube pages, the public would see it, but I've got some cool analytics here from TubeBuddy and it shows the keyword tags down here. And I'm gonna hit the show search rankings. Okay, now one thing I really wanna point out that is so cool, this video has only been live for five days. Okay, we published this five days ago, February 7th. And you see how to be a better parent. 
how to be a better parent without yelling, it's already ranking for those two phrases, meaning people are searching for it and they're finding this video. Now, just as a comparison, I'm not knocking Brendan Bouchard. I'm picking somebody who is popular and has a big presence on YouTube, but he's just not doing it right. So I'm gonna take, let's take a video that's done well. Well, they're all kind of, okay, we'll do this one. A week ago, he posted a video. It's got 95,000 views. If I scroll down, okay, he's got a lot of tags in here. See, he's got a lot of tags. When I hit this show search rankings, I'm just guessing. Okay, he is showing up for comfort zone, but that's it. I was expecting zero and he got one. So ding, 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 he did win. He is showing up on the front page for comfort zone. Most of the time when I do this, let me give it a percentage. I would say 70 to 80% of the time when I do a search like this, zero of them rank. But for the videos that we create, 100% of the time, they always have a phrase or two or three or four that rank on the front page of YouTube. So great question, Jen. Hopefully that answered your question. I'm gonna go into a little bit more depth about keyword research and how to pick those phrases in a future episode. So we'll see you then.